Hi all, Mikey with the Exiles, hope you're safe and well. Um, just a quick introduction to this video, since originally it was an internal uh, video. Um, so a couple of weeks ago I did a, a, a video on the kind of gloves that I like to wear and why, and they were considered by many to be quite light gloves, um, although I like to do heavy sparring, heavy training um, in them. Um, in parallel to that, Jason Cook, uh, our instructor over in uh, New England, Exiles New England, ha has done a review on um, some gloves that he likes to, he likes to wear. Um, they're from Age of Craft and they're based on um, Visby finds from the Battle of Visby. Um, so he's done a video on that and we thought it might be useful for people to see since gloves and hand protection seems to be arguably the most talked about topic um, in HEMA. So this is Jason's video. If you want to understand um, what prompted this video, um, there's a link in the description to my earlier video um, and there'll be a little thumbnail at the end. But um, this was an internal video, so it's delivered in Jason's typical, no bullshit, sort of grumpy fashion. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Hi, it's uh, Jason from X House New England. Uh, Marky has asked for, Marky Bearman has asked for some videos to keep people entertained during the uh, plague years here. And he uh, included some gear reviews. Now, I'm not a huge fan of gear reviews. They get repetitive and boring and everything else. Uh, however, I do want to make a comment about gloves. Now, for those of you who've had any encounters with me in the Hemaverse uh, and had a drink with me in particular, you will know that I will get up on my high horse about gloves. I think there is no topic in HEMA that is more overdone, results in more ridiculous comments and claims, because at the end of the day, there's way too many people who think gloves are meant to keep them from feeling any discomfort and pain and take no responsibility for form and keeping their hands low and out of the way. So I want to tell you a little story about that. I was at an event uh, a couple years ago and a dude was talking about, saw me putting on my uh, Neyman Inigo Montoya gloves, which I happen to like. Yes, there are flaws with them, but I think that overall they are a pretty good glove. Having said that, the review is not about this glove because with Neyman's various problems as a business, it'd be really hard for me to tell people to go buy these. But he suddenly put these on and the guy was like, I've given up on five finger gloves. Um, I wore some in a tournament, uh, there was a sparring gloves. And uh, at the end of the tournament, my hands, I took the gloves off, my hands were all black and blue. Were your, were your fingers broken? No. Probably not the gloves, dude. So listen, uh, and by the way, shout out to Luke's video on cutting recently. That one shows you to keep your bloody hands low. And for those of you who know, I studied under Bruno finger collector Nicoletti, uh, who can break a finger, you know, by just looking at it cross-eyed. And uh, let's be clear, he taught me to keep my bloody hands low and out of the way. That said, we do need protection. I'm not gonna go practice in my thin leathers. Let's put our heavy spar in my thin leathers. So I am gonna talk about this glove today. This glove is from Age of Craft, which is known mostly for doing armored stuff for the heavy um, medieval battle, Battle of Nations types. It is, a, it is based on Visby finds, uh, the Battle of Visby. Uh, it is a brigandine construction, so you're looking at overlapping metal plates riveted together, okay? It is a wonderful glove, I think, for what we do for long, so, long sword. And shout out to Greg Melee from Chicago Swordplay Guild. He turned me on to these. They fit nicely. Well, they fit me nicely. Um, I've got good motion. I can make a fist. They have to be broken in a little bit. They have to warm up a little bit too, honestly, when you put them on. You don't want to put them on and go straight into it. You want to warm up first. I have a great deal of dexterity, okay? Um, you know, I can do whatever I want to in these gloves. Uh, pretty much, I forget I'm wearing them. It's like wearing my thin leathers. I can do dagger work in them, though I won't do that because I figure that's going to tick somebody off to get hit by that. Uh, and I guess this is obligatory for every bloody glove review in history of mankind. There, okay? Things I want to point out about. Um, at the tips, and of course you can't see this, but at the fingertips, the metal comes down, I guess, let me try this. The metal comes down up and over just a little bit beyond the fingertip. So you've got some protection that extends a little bit past the fingertips. You're going, so that need for like a blast cap or something like that you see some people retrofit their gloves with, not so much. There's overlap on the sides here and here that gives you a great deal of protection as well. Good protection in there, which is a place a lot of gloves fail. Um, one person I know warned me about compression fractures if I'm holding it, holding my sword in my glove, in my hand, and take a direct hit straight down like this. 
I, I, I guess so. I feel like that's going to, that's going to be a very low probability event. And I don't know how hard someone's going to be hitting me and I don't know how I'm not going to let me get my hands out of the way, but you know, that's the risk. So that's what I like about them. They're very dexterous. They're nimble. Um, and, uh, I really, really like them. And I think they're highly protective. Concerns. Um, this outer leather, I feel is a bit too soft. They would have been done better with a little heavier, thicker leather here. Um, some of the decorative stitching I am concerned about. I haven't had a problem yet with that, but uh, that's a concern that I have. Um, the only other problem that I've had so far, so over time, and obviously if these rivets start popping loose, putting this back together is gonna be a royal pain. But then again, how often are you really repairing all your other clothes? Uh, how easy is that? The last thing is I was at the very upper level, upper edge, if not slightly beyond um, on the sizing for the size of gloves I wear, medium. Uh, on my right hand in particular, my dominant hand. And I ended up having the leather split. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Oh, there you go. Right in there, right? Right between those two fingers from doing that. That kind of motion started causing the stitching to come undone right there. So what I did is I had a friend uh, who's a good with leather, better than I am. Uh, Cut it, put a little gusset in, sew it up, good as new, better than it was when I first bought it. So all in all, I really like these. These are available from Age of Craft if you're in, the, in Europe. Uh, Cult of Athena in the US has them. Uh, and frankly, I think this is my top um, heavy glove recommendation at this point in time. A Couple of quick things, just comparison for size, because some of you, Bruno, uh, always complain about things like uh, gloves being too big and look like oven mitts. These are way smaller than the Koenigs. Uh, in terms of overall handprint, footprint. Um, and you can sort of see it next to, come on, Jason. The Naaman, you can see that. You can see there's a bit of a different size thing there. You actually find these a little bit leaner profile. And then compared to like a metal gauntlet, which, you know, I think some of you feel pretty good about, um, you can sort of see the size differential there as well. So all in all, there you go. Age of Craft, Visby gauntlets, I really like them. Do not spend the money on the titanium ones. I don't know why you would do that in HEMA. Um, and uh, they're about 250 bucks, if I remember correctly. Uh, so they're comparable with other heavy HEMA gloves, okay? Um, and uh, I think they're way better than the Spez heavies for what we do as purists. Uh, if you wanna keep your hands uh, available and movable for things like uh, coming in on stretto and blocking and pushing elbows and all that sort of stuff disarms, grabbing the sword. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I rambled a bit. Sorry.